people um, three art projects from the spring 2007 show we had here at ITP. Yeah. We just happened to have interviews. Yeah, I guess uh, a lot of people don't know, maybe the Interactive Telecommunications program is in the Tisch School of Arts. So. It is in the Tisch School of Arts. So uh, I guess let's kick it off with three episodes of... Geeky Art. art. Geeky? Geeky Art? Geeky Art, here Geeky we go. Art. My name is Ana Maria Gutierrez, and my project is called Motion. And what exactly does it do, or how did you come up with it? Um, uh, it's basically a composition of photography and painting, and um, I, I painted over the photography, and I, then I created this composition all digitally, and the animation is kind of the animation of my idea of that I had when I did this, that was kind of bodies in movement, and it starts from the line, and it becomes a still, like photography, and then it moves into video. That's great. Do you have a website? Uh, yes, it's called itpanita.wordpress.com. Thank you very much. My name is Heather Dewey Hagborg, and my project is called Spurious Memories. It is a creative neural network system, and the idea is that it learns from experience what faces are and how faces are similar and different, and then is able to extrapolate from that experience to create new facial images, and also to interpret ambiguous input data. So in the book you can see an ambiguous image, this ink blot as an input, and then a face which is an interpretation of that ink blot. And then on the screen, you can see the network goes into a dreamlike mode where it starts with a random input and then traverses a memory space of facial possibilities. And do you have a website for your project? Yes, I do. It's uh, deweyhagborg.com slash spurious. I'm Ariel Efron, and the name of this project is Living Surfaces. It's my thesis project. It's a video, video sculpture that you know, I did in, with three months of research of like forms, and then rapid prototyping, and then developing the content. And there is another part, which is the interaction, which is not here, because this is a small-scale model of something that I see in architectural large scale. So um, you had to basically figure out how to get the video to match up with these forms, or you did it, how did you, which one did you work on first? First developing the form and then the video? Yeah, the, that, that's how I did it, because the, the, the sculpture was made in a 3D application, so the surface and the topography of the sculpture were, were on my file, an OBJ file, and then from that I did all the paths of the people running and the whole content development according to that. <laughs> 